Yesterday we read about the uh, volcanoes and got some information about that, what, what they are, how they form, uh, what kind of things they can do to make a mountain grow or uh, I guess you could say shrink if they explode or something. Uh, so we wanted to focus on what happens at places where plates separate from each other. And uh, we're kind of trying to figure out what happens when two plates move apart. Uh, and we made claims yesterday. So some people said, oh, we would maybe, you know, it's bottom of the ocean or someplace. If two plates separate, magma kind of comes up and maybe it makes a mountain or maybe it makes a volcano or maybe there's earthquakes there. So people made claims about what they think would happen when two oceanic plates move apart. Um, and so now we're going to look at some evidence. We're going to try to see if we can find out if those claims are true or not. So we have to figure out if we, if we need to find evidence, we have to find places where the plates separate. So uh, down the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, there is uh, two plates that separate. We got uh, two spots over here off the coast of South America. We got some areas over here by Africa and Australia. Uh, we do have real information about uh, plates from this Mid-Atlantic Ridge between uh, North America and Europe and Af uh, Africa and South America. So we're going to look at this area here. So we're going to focus a little bit on that. So this is the area of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge uh, and the yellow line shows the boundary between plates that are moving west. So all the stuff on the left hand side is moving west. All the land on the right is moving east. And this line is the line that shows the boundary between them. Okay. We could go anywhere along this area and find evidence of what happens when the plates separate. Now, we don't have infinite amount of money or time, so we have to figure out as scientists where would be the best place to go. So we're going to focus on the island of Iceland because we can actually go on the place where the plates are separating, so we can actually see what happens on land there. And then there's some shallow areas here. We could make it a little easier to find out what happens in the water. And there may be uh, you know, a couple other areas just to go along. So we're going to focus on Iceland and a couple areas under the water. What we are going, what we're going to do is fill in a graphic organizer. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is the graphic organizer I'm going to work on, and it'll be in the download area. So we have uh, the claim. So what you can do here is just what do you think you would see at the bottom of the ocean where two plates are separating? You could pick a uh, volcano, new land, um, earthquakes, volcanoes, mountains, you know, whatever you want. So you pick out which one you want there. As we go through the next part of the, the presentation here, uh, we're going to have artifact numbers, and I'll show you what that is in a second. You're going to write down what evidence uh, of what's happening there, what you see in the pictures, and then you're going to decide whether that evidence right here helps you with your claim, so that would support it, or is it something that's not helping you with your claim, it's kind of like evidence to the contrary, to the opposite. That means it would be refuting. And it's okay to have evidence that refutes your claim. Uh, we're trying to find an answer. So if all your evidence is being refuted, it just means your claim is wrong and the answer is something else. So it's not bad, uh, just you know you don't have the right answer and we have to figure out what it is. So we're going to be looking at all nine of those. So it's, it's a two-page thing here. And then there's a question at the end, but we'll hold on to that until later. So let's take a look at the artifacts. So download this, send it to Notability. With your sheet in Notability, we're going to look at the artifacts now. So we are going to look at uh, nine different places along this Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Uh, some are in Iceland and then some are just down in the ocean here. So it says below you'll find a map with eight artifacts. Each artifact comes from a point on this map. As you can tell, there are many artifacts in Iceland. Use this map to zoom in and see where each artifact is located. As you explore your map, keep track of evidence you collect to either support or refute your claim. 
we look at artifact number one. Uh, it says this picture was taken of the Almanaja fissure located in Thingvellir National Park, Iceland. This picture shows where the two plates are moving apart. So one plate is on the left hand side where my cursor is moving. The other plate is on the other side and the dividing line is this kind of like a canyon all the way down the middle. That's the, two, that's the place between two uh, tectonic plates. What do you notice about this picture? Do you see evidence in the image of where the two plate boundaries are located? How long ago do you think the plates last separated in this area? So we see grass, so it's not yesterday. I mean, grass is not going to grow in one day. Um, so we can kind of figure out what's happening here. So on your sheet for uh, artifact number one, write down what you see happening in the area between the two plates. So in this case, you can write down things like, I see land, grass growing, etc. You're going to be doing this for each of the pictures. So just writing down what you see there. Uh, again, if we're looking for, if you said there was going to be a volcano there, we'd be looking for volcanoes. So this is not supporting you. This would be refuting your claim that there's going to be volcanoes there. So jot down what you have for artifact one. We'll go on to number two. Uh, artifact two, these divers are swimming in between the two plates that are moving apart. So one plate is on the left, one plate's on the right, and they're in the space between it underwater. What do you notice about the plate on either side of the diver? If the plates are moving, why do you think the divers believe it's safe to explore this area? So again, first thing, what evidence do we have of what's between two tectonic plates? This is the space there. So jot down what you see there. Artifact number three. And you can pause if you don't have time to finish. You just pause and you can start this presentation up again. Artifact number three. Uh, this image shows another area of Iceland where the two plates are separating. This dirt-like substance is made of volcanic rock. So all this stuff here is volcanic rock, also on the side. Uh, it says, can you identify the edges of the two plates? They'd be right here. How could, this be, how could this area be made of volcanic rock but not have active volcanoes in this location? What would make it look like sand or dirt? Okay, so think about that. Again, what do you see in between the two plates? We're trying to find evidence for your claim. So we're just trying to find out if it's evidence for you that supports you or if it refutes, if it goes against your idea. Number four, uh, this picture of the Reich Jain Peninsula shows another area where the two plates are moving away from each other. The ground is made of basalt and is very rocky. In this area, there are also very hot gases coming from the ground. You can kind of see the steam over here. So it looks like all this area has like the gases coming out. Uh, it says, how is this different than artifact one? And why is it different? And one was with the, the green down in the middle. What could be happening here that isn't happening in artifact one? So one plate's on the left-hand side. One plate, we can't really see. It's over on the right-hand side here. And then this is the dividing line between the two plates where this boardwalk goes through. Number five. This picture shows another area of Iceland between artifacts three and four. So in this picture here, there's three and there's four, and we're in between those two spots. The land had just opened when this picture was taken. This site is not far from a volcanic site, one of the many volcanic sites in the country of Iceland. It says, what do you see emerging from the cracks in the ground? What does this make you wonder? What is similar in this photo in Artifact 4? So I'd be going back to this one here. So this is the dividing line. That's the place between boundaries. So write down what you see there. Artifact 6. Uh, this is underneath the ocean. It says deep below the ocean on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, we can find hydrothermal vents. These vents can shoot out some of the hottest water on Earth at over 400 degrees. Scientists have tried to place the instruments, have tried to place instruments in these vents and drill down into them to learn more about their composition, meaning what they're made of, but the equipment begins to melt. Why do you think the water has gotten into this vent is so hot? What could be making this water heat up? 
So again, here's our dividing line. We're, we're on a tectonic plate boundary. So we're seeing a volcano. Now, magma doesn't have to come off a volcano. Volcanoes can just be areas where gases and smoke uh, come out of an, a hole in the surface of the Earth. So this is a volcano. It doesn't look like one that we typically see with lava and orange magma coming out. But this is a volcano. Uh, number seven is a video. Uh, it says here is another vent. These vents are called the black smokers because the water coming out looks like black smoke. The water is black because it carries out minerals such as sulfur, iron, lead, and in some cases, silver and gold. The minerals settle in and around the vents and cool into solid deposits. Some companies would like to mine the Mid-Atlantic Ridge since so many minerals can be found at these vents and places where vents have been in the past. It says, why do you think we find minerals at certain places in the world, like in mountains, some mountains, and at this ridge, and not other places in the world? So here's the video. There's no sound. So it's just going to show us what the, uh, these black smoker hydrothermal vents are doing. So there's that black water coming out. This is kind of like a weird looking volcano. So it's like the tube that it makes. Again, here's another volcano. Again, it's not like our typical volcano with like orange magma coming out. There's another one here. And this is, this is just part of the submarine that's taking the footage. So that was it. Uh, item number eight. Uh, the map to the right is of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This map was created by scientists and geographers by using elevation data. The colors show how deep or shallow the ocean is, with light blue being closer to the surface of the ocean and dark blue being further from the surface. So dark blue is deeper, light blue is shallower. What do you notice about the color of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge that follows the center of the map? So kind of following this line right here. Uh, what, what does that say about the elevation of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge? And what does this chain remind you of? Okay, so we've got higher elevation here. That means it's higher off the ground than down here. If this was on the surface of the earth, this would be a valley, this would be a mountain. So this kind of gives me an idea that there might be some mountains down there. And the last one, number nine, this is the island of Iceland. And it says this map shows data scientists have collected about what is at and below the surface of Iceland. The orange cones are active volcanoes. So you can see there's lots of active volcanoes on Iceland. The green shading is where researchers believe magma can be found below the surface. Study the map. Why do you think they have found magma in volcanoes in Iceland? Does this occur only in Iceland, or does it occur in other places on the ridge as well? So if we go back to uh, the first picture here, so this is where Iceland is, and you can see the tectonic plate boundary is going right through the country. So that's probably why they have so many volcanoes. It's a, it's a place where magma can make it to the surface versus other places where they're not near a uh, plate boundary and magma will not come up. Okay, so that was that part. Once you filled that in, you want to find out on your uh, chart here. So go back and find out if each one of these, if with the information you wrote down, does it support or refute your claim? And then when, you're all, when you've done all nine of those, and does the evidence from one through nine support your claim of what you thought you were gonna find there, or does it refute it? If your claim is wrong, do, don't erase your claim. Just come down here and say, I, my claim was wrong, I had the wrong idea, and what I found was this. I thought there were going to be mountains there, and there's actually volcanoes there. Uh, or you might be right. You know, I thought there were going to be mountains there, and yes, we did find mountains there. Uh, and then you would go back and say, well, I found you know, evidence of that in you know, slides 7, 8, and 9. Uh, that's where I found evidence to support it. So it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. If you're wrong, just say you were wrong and tell me what the right answer would be based on the evidence. If you were right, that's great. Uh, just tell me what evidence you used to support your idea, your claim that you listed in the first page. Uh, when you're done with that, uh, submit that uh, so we can see what you wrote. And that's it for today.